Hey, hey, hey. Hi, everybody. Sorry, guys. We're uh, a little bit late, and it is my fault. I had uh, a couple little tech issues going on. Good news is I got a flashy new microphone. So hopefully, Kenya, Pat, can you hear me? Am I sounding <laughs> significantly more chipper than usual? You sound younger. That's amazing. <laughs> I look younger. You know that? I think well, funny. Yeah. I went to uh, I went to uh, get something done to my face. Right, it's going to make me look young and more handsome, which is very easy to do because I'm very ugly. But anyway, so. I went and then like they burnt. So she's like, oh, we can't do that. Like my wife went and they're like, oh my gosh, you got the greatest skin ever. So she gets this thing done and then I go and they're like, oh yeah, that's not going to work for you. You get problems. Anyway, so they took what felt like a blowtorch to my face. And basically like I've got all, I got sun, like I lived in Australia for 15 years and I literally have worn sunscreen maybe three times in my entire life. Anyway, so I, uh, she's there and she's like, oh, we're going to have to burn all this stuff off. So she takes a blowtorch to my face and she's like, zzz, zzz, zzz. and I'm like, wow. she's like, is that okay? And I'm like, oh yeah, it doesn't even hurt inside. I'm like, want to just cry and run out of the room. Right. I'm like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Anyways. So if you saw me, I look like I did 10 rounds with Mike Tyson right now, but on the other side of that, and I know everybody is very enthralled in this, I am going to look more handsome than I did <laughs> last week, but this present moment in time, if you saw my face, you'd be like, ooh, what happened, man? Anyway, so so there you go. You, you, I don't know how I got off on that one, but there you go, Pat. A little bit of, little bit of info for you and everybody listening. What do you think? Oh, there you go. <laughs> my That's wife it. just tells me to shave and I'll look better. But, uh... <laughs> oh, you get the goatee shoots. You look good in the goatee. I like it. Oh. Yeah, when you wake, when you get up out of bed, a solid eight and a half, and you don't have to worry about too much. <laughs> <laughs> You're an eight and a half rowing out of bed, Pat. There's no question. No question. Oh, All my. right, let's go to the audience. Enough about how handsome Pat and I are. Let's, uh, oh, Diana. Diana wants a bit of what I got. Let's open up Diana and say hello. Once again, guys, this is a and a call. You guys provide the Q, we provide the A. So if you got a question, either lift your, like raise your hand, which should be pretty straightforward for you guys to do, or plunk the uh, the question into the box and we will answer it. In the meantime, look at this. So this is, I've started some dialogue. Diana wants to know what the blowtorch was. Diana, how's it going? Yes, I, I'm great. And I definitely want to know what the blowtorch was. I need it. <laughs> I what don't know what it was. It? But I don't think you, uh, I don't, I don't, I have no idea. The The end goal is what my wife got is called halo treatment, H-A-L-O, uh -huh. like as in halo. You ever heard of a halo treatment? No, but it sounds like what you did was even better. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I'm going, I'm, I'm going to graduate to the halo apparently in two weeks time, but they need my face oh, to heal. Okay. So, so this was yeah, the sunspots are like... Like if you got any like little veins poking out of your nose and that kind of thing, which apparently I, I never knew it, but she's like, oh, do you see these veins? And I'm like, no. Yeah, they <laughs> use that like that magnifying glass. It's horrifying. Yeah, well, apparently she didn't need the magnifying glass. She was just looking at me, and I'm like, really? <laughs> I look at my face every day, and I've never, never thought to look that closely at my nose because I don't really care that much. But anyways, there you go. I was uglier than I thought. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Anyways, so there you go. Look up Halo. All right, I will. And I, I don't know if my question is appropriate for this call. So stop me if it isn't. I was just watching the um, the thing on how to do a direct mailing to 50,000 people for free. So that's in the back end of pause. Can I ask a question about that? Sure, go for it. Yep. Okay. Um, I loved it. And I'm thinking what I'd like to do. I, I run a couple networking groups, and yep. I thought maybe I would put that together, either just using that as it is, or even doing my own webinar version of it, and throwing it out to my networking groups and have it because I keep trying to get them to to do joint ventures and to bring the people that they come up with to the networking group, and they're just not getting it. And so I thought maybe this would 
serve a lot of things. First of all, I might get some clients and then they might finally understand what I'm talking about with the joint ventures. And, and then it would become very synergistic. Everybody would do business with everybody else, right? Hmm. Diana, just give me the premise of the presentation that you're talking about that you watch, because I just I need to. What you is find, what's the foundation? You, of it? you find ten different businesses. Like if you're a landscaper, you would find people like people people who do fences, stonework, um, yeah. flower beds, and you talk to them about doing a mailing that's kind of like value pack, but it's it's a higher quality, and yeah, yeah. and we would put it together. Yeah. Got it. Um, so look, you could do that, but I also, I just want to go, and again, this isn't just for you, Diana, this might be great advice and this might not be the best advice, but for everybody listening, what, look, I always talk about this. You, somebody wants me to provide them direction. So we'll call that coaching. And I immediately, my mind goes to two things. One little red arrow. You are here. I go to establish what you got what your talents are, et cetera, et cetera, right? Like a little, a little mini audit on the individual and their opportunities and what they're currently doing and what's working and not working. And then the second thing I've got to work out um, is where you want to go. What are you trying to accomplish, right? If you got three kids under the age of six, that's going to be, a, and, and you want to be a great father or a great mother and spend some time with them. The roadmap I'm going to provide you is going to be significantly different than somebody who's 60, empty nester, uh, looking to ride in an RV across the world and just make a hundred grand and not have to dip into their savings. Like, you know what I mean? You kind of understand there's two things I establish. One, the little red arrow you are here, and then two, um, where you're going. Uh, another way of describing that, again, for the benefit of everybody listening, I call it my Uber metaphor. Uber's like a hundred billion dollar question built on, or sorry, a hundred billion dollar company built on two questions. Where are you? Where do you want to go? And the simplicity of that, I believe to be absolutely bloody magic, my opinion. Um, so with that being said, what you just said to me, Diana, potentially, you know, kind of accidentally, but you've got a couple of networking groups. Um, and of course, you're trying to educate them to do, to do, to do. Uh, if I were to pour gasoline on what you're currently doing, instead of you going and doing, um, you know, like the, the joint venture mailers, et cetera, build up that networking and you will always get, you're going to get as many clients as you're going to need through the networking. That's where the magic is. And your job, if you want to know how to do that, um, you just got to get up there and educate them. Everybody loves the educator. So if, I, if I'm running the networking group, I'll always spend 15 minutes to 30 minutes to really shift the individuals in the room, whether they buy me, you know, buy for me or don't buy for me. I'm just not going to let them go home without saying, a, that was insanely valuable, and wow, that's a smart guy up there. But that's my goal because that foundation will get me more coaching clients and more referrals than, frankly, I'll be able to um, I'll be able to handle. So rather than go to something new, why don't you pour gasoline on your networking and go from two to five groups? Like uh, I was with you uh, till you said the two to five groups. Yeah, you yeah. have. You said you had two networking groups. Well, I have three meetups with thousands of people in them who hardly ever show up. You know, I get yeah. two, three from each one. And then I'm I'm sending those to a blitzer, which is a new way of doing online networking. And that's been a pretty steady group now, but it's only maybe 25 people out of all those thousands. Yep. So, okay. And I've been promoting it and everybody loves it. So I, it's not like it's that easy. I mean, I've, I've put a fair uh, amount of time into it, getting 25 people. Yeah, here's my question. Are you educating them? Like when I, if I spoke to one of them right now, one of the 20 that shows up, how would they describe you? Like, are you shifting them? Are you teaching no, them? Are you? No, they love me. They think I'm wonderful, but I'm not educating them. They yeah, think that's... I'm wonderful because I'm bringing them together to network. Yeah, but that, so just that one little, that's that's the 2% that makes all the difference, right? Uh -huh. Like the, the world's greatest, if you you put the world's greatest plastic surgeon on the phone, they'll tell you that they'll never, they're never going to take your, they're not going to take a face and recreate it, right? Maybe mine, my nose could use a little, a little <laughs> improvement. But anyways, but no, what they'll do is they take your eyes, they take your lips, they take, 
you know, like the area in between your your nose and your mouth, and they'll only ever make like a two percent little tweak, right? If you you introduce me to an amateur golfer that hits a hundred, you know, hits a hundred, and then a professional golfer that hits seventy, there's like two percent variances in everything that they do. Hmm. So your two percent is to start. They love you and they think you're great, and you got this hypnosis superpower. Turn that into edu- just listen. If you listen to my podcast, my goal at the end of it, whether it's great or horrible, no doubt there's a mix of both for different individuals. But I am always want people to hang up the phone and go, wow, that guy knows what he's talking about. And whether I pay him or not, he just provided an enormous amount of value and doesn't do a lot on Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday. But over 12 months, two years and, you know, 100,000 downloads, it, it, it equates to a enormous amount of um, indirect or direct revenue. Well, that takes me to another question that I don't want to take your time to answer, but maybe if someone who's listening in the group could answer me on Facebook and I'll write it out on Facebook too. I I can't figure out how to get to your podcast. I wrote you about it. I feel like such an idiot. You can't work out what, sorry? How to get to your podcast. I I have (laughs) never done podcasts, so... I tried all kinds of things and never got there. Just there should be some emails from Adrian that just says Monday motivation and just okay. We'll we'll be somebody be able to point you. Oh, that's your problem. Oh, oh, now I remember. You uh, road. I do listen to that, but Road (laughs) Dog asked us to give you a review and to say you know, and and you can't do that from the webinar, which is where I listen. And so then I tried to get onto the podcast so I could do that, but do you I have never an iPhone? got there. Do you have an iPhone? I do. Okay, then you should. Uh, so I, embarrassing. Get, uh, I feel about 100 years old right that's, now. <laughs> yeah, I look about 100 years old, but I'm going to look much better next week. So no, anyways, okay, we're good. So Diana, will somebody be able to point you towards that? That's, that would that's be great. Good. I'll put it in the Facebook group. Thanks. Okay, you beauty. Okay, good job. We appreciate it. We're going to check, but, but did I help? Like, do you follow, do you see the way that yes. you're going to start educating people? And when I interview them and you're not there, they're going to say, wow, she's a smart gal. She's really passionate. She's really caring. She's really knowledgeable. She's provided me an enormous amount of value. Like rather than a sweetheart, I want to, they're not, if you ask somebody about me, I don't think they're going to use the word sweetheart. They're going to say he's a little bit of a smart ass to do, to do, to do, but wow. I, he, I think if they're a business coach, they're going to say he knows his stuff or that's well, my goal. The incredible thing is I have been thinking about doing just that. I can probably only get away with 10 minutes, but I could still teach some things okay. in 10 minutes. Good and point. I that's, you only got to don't, yeah, because well, if you go to 30, if you go to 30 minutes, you feel like you might run out of magical things to say initially. No, it's that the whole meeting is only an hour and they're there to network. So I think uh, I, 10 would, minutes I, would, is probably... I would push. That's not true. I, I would disagree with that. They're they're there to make money, um, uh-huh. and I'm smarter than they are type of thing. And I don't mean that. You know what I mean? Like uh-huh. that's my opinion. So no, I totally disagree. If you so got maybe... something really intelligent to say that's going to shift them, you take as long as you need within reason, right? Twenty. If it's one hour and you took fifteen to twenty-five minutes to educate move the needle, give them an insane amount of value, they'll say thank you, not the opposite. And they'll the reason behind it is that you're going to educate them so that their networking is more effective. So that's why okay. you're teaching a market dominating position. That's why you're teaching okay. them how to do joint ventures effectively. That's why you're teaching them how to create a compelling offer. And I'm just rattling off the 12 yeah. oh, that's great. Um, parts of the software. Pat, can I throw it to you? I'm doing a lot of talking here. Would you agree, expand, subtract anything? Well, everyone wants to do business with uh, an expert. Yeah. And so you just have to teach something that, and you can, it doesn't have to be long. It could be five minutes. It just makes them sit back a little bit and go, wow, never thought of that before. And yeah. often it's just asking great questions. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it could be something a little bit about your market dominating position. It could be, you start off by saying, you know, I just want to ask, what do you say to prospective buyers that makes them sit back and think, man, I'd be an idiot not to do business with you anymore. I love that. You know, and then you go, that's what a market dominating position is about. And you go into a little three, four minute spiel about market dominating position that you could script out or <clears throat> memorize or something. 
and I, I mean, we've got so much verbiage about it, you know, the 52 week series, it starts out about that. And just give them something to think about. And you say, you know what? Um, I mean, I don't know if you have a book, Diana, or not, but um, you hold up a book and say, we talk about that in here, or, you know, I've got a video on this. I'd love to send you something like that. If you're interested, come and see me, something like that, you know, or <clears throat> uh, send people to get your book off your website, something like that. Yeah. That's wonderful. Thank you. Thank also, you, Diana. Diana. Sorry, I, I, actually, I just want to, Pat just made me think of a couple of things. And, and I've said this many a times before, but it's important. Okay. So when you're doing your spiel, um, part of what I want you to think about, and I would grab, and if you want to know how to do it, grab a pen, a piece of paper, and I want you to write down 20 things that you're going to talk about in these meetups. Um, and I want them partially, like a, a good percentage of that, I want to be you standing against. You heard me talk about that, right? It's not rather singing kumbaya oh, wow. on how amazing yeah. joint ventures are. Go, here's how people screw. This is why people screw up joint ventures. Here's why people screw up um, networking. Like as an example, when I go to a website, the mistake that everybody makes is I go to it. At the top of the website is the name of the company. In the middle, it's service quality dependability. And then at the bottom in the contact us is their name, phone number, and, and email address, right? And like I just described, it's service quality dependability, right? And what do they need? They need a market dominating position. They need something compelling, including a compelling offer. They need a call to action and the call to action has to have scarcity and it's never got that. So again, some examples, and I've said these a hundred times, so I'll just gloss over it, but multiple streams of income, go through your Facebook feed and that's for the dickhead influencer who doesn't have multiple streams of income, doesn't have passive income, and buys a flashy car before he buys real estate, that's the guy talking about multiple streams of income, right? You talk to Bezos, Gates, Jobs, they didn't have multiple streams of income. They had one stream of income that was absolutely incredible and it was always a business, right? So in other words, that was me standing against multiple streams of income, right? Stand against influencers. I just did that, right? These dickheads, you go through your Facebook feed and they're there jumping out of their flashy car and you know, the, the plane that they, you know, didn't even have the money to rent. Um, and then they're sprouting off advice that they're not actually following themselves. If you want to follow somebody, follow Bezos, follow Gates. And if you hate them, it doesn't matter. These guys are freaking geniuses, the end. Anyways, when you're writing down the things that you're going to talk about, I want you to be talking from a place of standing against um, rather than, you know, too too much kumbaya is what I would if I roll okay. up to the average networking group and somebody's educating me, they're they're singing, they're talking about blue skies and how amazing everything's going to be, which uh -huh. has a place and is fine. But if they take the, you know, standing against a little, that'll have power. Second thing, um, just read the emails that I've sent out over the last week and a couple of things that I've dropped. Like if you have a business and you got 10% margins or if your client has a business and they have 10% margins, when you decrease their expenses by 11%, you will double their profitability. I think that is a knowledge bomb on steroids. That's my, so, so no Facebook ads, no salespeople, no cold calls, no hanging out on social media, blah, 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 and leaving positive comments. Just go to their credit card statements and their expenses, boom. Another one, I think this is actually today, you got an upsell. Um, do you want fry or sorry, you get an upsell? Do you want me to supersize that? And then you have a cross sell. Um, do you want fries with that? Right. So supersize and fries. Everybody knows that example because everybody goes to McDonald's. Um, the problem is that everybody will start as a general rule with do you want fries with that? And that's a million times more popular than do you want me to supersize it? The difference is that it's 21 times more profitable um, to do an upsell than it is to do a cross sell. Okay, in other words, supersize versus fries. Um, that's a, so if given the opportunity for them to go and create another way to, you know, bring in revenue, they'd be thinking cross sell instinctively and they should be thinking upsell if they want to be, you know, make it 21% easier for themselves. That's an example of a knowledge bomb that I would drop. That is all great stuff. Thank you so much, cool. both of you. Okay, Diana, there you go, but great job. We always appreciate you chiming in. Go have a look for a halo. Diana, we'll be, we'll be interested to hear how your halo treatment goes soon, all right? All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. Put Diana back on mute. There we go. And guys, again, Q&A.
Chuck A Q in the box. Jerry, we're coming for you, buddy. Jerry, I always your last name is a tough one, man. Kezaya. I was going to find out in a sec here. You're self muted, Jerry. You want to say hello, bud? There he is. Hello, Jerry, brother. You're live. So I'm looking for. I'm 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 new to this, so I'm just trying to figure out where I get the password for the software. Password. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah. Are I, you um? Yeah, Jerry, are you like currently in the on, in the onboarding process with? No, I've gone through oh. all that. Oh, you have. Okay. So then, let me just show that to you. I'll just open. And that and up. one of my web pages has crashed, and I can't I can't get uh, tech support to get on that. I they they haven't responded yet. Okay. Well, I can help you with the P A S hyphen. Go to no results hyphen no fee dot com forward slash p a s request. Oh, let me. I was sharing my freezing my screen there. Do you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So no results hyphen no fee dot com forward slash p a s hyphen request. And then right. you come down to this uh, form here and just enter the password, which is all caps p a s. For profit acceleration software. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Super. Thank very you very much. Cool. And if yeah. I were to press you, Jerry, how long have you been with us? Uh well, it's a crazy story. I'm I've really <laughs> just been getting started in the last two months. Yeah. So give us a give us some feedback. How's it all going? Anything we can improve upon? Anything that's that's shifted you a little bit that you didn't know before you started with us? Well, it's a crazy story, Carl. I've owned I own seven companies. I just sold three, oh. and so so we're we're downsizing to the point where I get to do this full time. Nice. <laughs> what kind of businesses? Uh, I've owned car washes, auto repair shops, commercial real estate, uh, shopping centers. My wife was a doctor, so we had a couple of doctors' offices. I'm um, in the wine business. I had a, had a high-end liquor store. I, I literally have multiple streams of income. I I, yeah. I resonate with everything you're saying. I, yeah, I got it. You're, but again, you're you're the guy who made it, right? The guy who's flipping through his Facebook feed, working it out. That's not the guy for multiple streams of income. So I love it. I love it. Good job, <laughs> uh, man. Last last month, I put eighty thousand dollars in my savings account. Whew. Oh, there we go. I need a loan. Don't anybody can help? Uh, sure. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> Got to be careful. You're, you're, you're one of the few guys. You're one of the few guys I'd loan money to. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. There you go. It's a compliment, man. There you go. I follow you on Facebook, man. I like following you. Good stuff, man. I know. I appreciate it too. We have fun. That's it. Congrats on the success, my brother. Good job. You're going to be an unbelievable business consultant, man. Well, I'm I'm trying to learn. Yeah, love it. Okay, cool. All right. Well, so Thank and you. if we were so you've been through the training. So tell me, is there something that we have learned? You obviously have an incredible pedigree. Uh, what, have we shifted anything? What, what's some value bomb that you didn't expect or that might have yeah shifted things? Uh, well, I, I think once I get the handle on the on the on the software and yeah. actually uh, show somebody that, it'll be game changing for me. Yeah. Yeah, do um actually can I encourage you to do something here? Because clearly you're gonna crush this. Um, could you go to uh the role play, please? Pat for yep. us. Yep. Hey Jerry, uh, do this, buddy. Go to um hang on one second. Let me let me put on a, he a headset. Yeah, cool. No right. problem. And okay, everybody let's listen. Jerry's gonna do that, but guys, this role play, the feedback that we get, um, Holly does this for it for us. That happens to be Pat's wife. Um, but she is a rock star. And then Wally also helps us out. Like if you go to the, um, when you do profit acceleration software, there's there's somebody doing, you know, an example with a live client, closing a coaching client, and that's Wally. So Wally also does the role plays. Right. Um, this is really, really valuable. Not just for you, Jerry, but I'm speaking to everybody here, but you should totally um, jump in. Oh, where are we going here? Here we go. I'm just um, going down to find the one for Wally where he's doing that. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. Over here. There it is. So anyways, Jerry, yeah, jump in and just go to like our domain name, no results dash no fee forward slash um, role play. And then it, it's 197 bucks, by the way, right? But it's for three, you know, three sessions and it's 
it'll be, and it's not necessary, and again, not so much for you, Jerry, but for everybody listening, not in any way necessary, but it's a really good idea for you to just understand the, the software, but really understand at a deeper level. And then what you do with Holly is you're role playing to close a coaching client. And then, you know, she pushes back a little bit on the first call. She pushes back a little more on the second call. And then you'll go to Wally for the third call. And then he pushes back at a higher level. And it's a, it's a pretty cool little dynamic. So, so yeah, I highly recommend that, Jerry. I think that'll, that'll expedite everything for you big time. Okay. Sound good? Thank you. Thank you very much. Have fun, yeah, guys. No worries, Honored to have you on board, buddy. Thank you. And Jerry, uh, or sorry, Carl, I think Jerry had asked about, he's got a problem with his membership site or something, and where would he go to get that solved? Oh, uh, Jerry, give me a just could you copy me? Just go, my personal email address is carl with a K at focused.com. Um, carl with a K at focused.com, so that's focus with an E-D. And then send support at no results dash no fee. That's just a, you know, the normal support email address. You should, or everybody has that. Um, and we'll get it sorted out ASAP. So just copy me so that I can, I can make sure it goes to the very top of the list. There you go. Hey, Carl. Good. Hey, while we're at it, let me um, talk about this training we have going on here. Yeah. You can see my screen okay? Yep. All right. So this is uh, developing it's in development, let's say, we're moving things along. Um, we have, on the left side, you have training, and we have our software training. So if you click on that, it just looks like the regular software training, but actually it's changed a little bit now already. Uh, you'll see down the side here, we've got all the videos um, and little timestamps on them. So you can go through those. The last one, I think, was um, Real Coach Client, that's Wally watching him do this. And this was probably about a year ago when he was the first guy to do this and close a client here. So that's his, as he would say, his very imperfect um, role play. And he still closed a client for some good money. But uh, what you'll see here, we have the 100K training now, is now in this training area. And you click on that. Of course, again, you know, it used to be like two, three and a half hour videos. And so we have day one, day two. And just go to any of the things that you want to find. Maybe you want to look at the fundamentals of mindset. You can go there or everything is wrong. We've broken that up into different uh, videos like jargon traps. If you want to go directly to that, you can the conversion equation. Um, and now uh, there's also a quiz. So for the new coaches coming on board, what we're asking them to do is as they go through this 100K training that we want them to graduate, they've got to which means they have to watch at least 90% of the videos and get 90% on the quizzes. And there's a total of 50 questions. So they have to get 45 out of 50. Now, some coaches, maybe they're coming back to this and they've done this a long time ago. They're just taking some quizzes and, and uh, you know, they're not doing that well. Um, but they haven't watched any of the videos that we can see at least. And maybe they've watched them before um, a couple months ago, maybe. But for new coaches coming in, we want you to watch the video first, then do the quiz. Makes sense to me. I don't know, you, Carl. Uh, that's probably how I do it. But uh, watch the video first, then do the quiz. Yeah. If you're not sure, just go back and watch the video again. But we want you to get this because you're going to be asked to answer, you know, get some, um, you know, you're going to have, well, what are factors affecting cost of goods sold? Or how do you lower cost of goods sold? Or things like that. You have to be able to answer these kind of things, but we've just broken it down here. So it's super easy to find all the way through. And of course, the you know, second part of the 100K training is, is more about, a lot of it's about the software. So you can go and find very specific areas of the software, or how to close a deal, things like that. Now, what we've also got, maybe you noticed in here, we've got a 100K lead gen training. Um, this is not in your profiles yet. I think it's somewhere else in the resources, but uh, we're going to put this in the training area and we just have to find a way for William to put this in everyone's training area so we don't have to go back through a thousand coaches and do this manually for everyone. Uh, so that's uh, this was here. We'll hopefully get this up and running in, in a few days, if not sooner. Um, but that's under training. And so 
Yeah, with 100K training, if you're just coming in, we, we can track, we see what you've done and um, see your scores, see how much time you spend on it. We haven't done that with the other ones, but we'll hopefully get that soon as well. So, yeah. Awesome. And that's a huge, guys, that's going to make training um, getting revisited. Actually, if you want, like Pat and I have kind of different learning styles. Could you actually hit 100K training for a sec? And I just give you guys a little bit, like as soon as I see that and Pat just said something a minute ago and I thought like, see the quiz, if if I'm doing it and this is just my style, which is going to suit some of you and, and not suit others, but I would, if I was about to do this, I would hit quiz and I would read the questions first. Then I'd go back and I'd watch the video and then I'd go to the quiz and do it. And that might be my strange mind um, taking over and confusing everyone, but I'd kind of flip through this and then I would come back and watch the video. Ooh. No, there we go. Uh oh. We'll uh, I think the problem is. Let's just go back to that um, because. There we go. So if I take the quiz, it only serves me the first question. Oh, I see. And yeah, 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 you can't really go through all the questions and go back because that's how that's the great way to learn as well. You go and read all the questions and you come back and watch the videos, but it actually doesn't allow you to do that. And the other thing, we've locked it to one one attempt per, uh, you know, through the quizzes because we don't want people just saying, oh, I click, 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 and it's like, okay, I'll go back and do it again and just yeah, so you can you. get a good score. So we want people to watch the videos first. But um, yeah. okay. the idea <laughs> here is, um, you know, if we, let me just answer a couple of these. We got th only three questions here, um, three stages of mindset. I don't even know what's right or wrong here, but let me just do and see if I can get one wrong here. If you want different results, you must start with your own beliefs. No, 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 that's not true, is it? No, let's say false. Okay, so what happens is <clears throat> this one I got correct. This one I got wrong, and I, it's the reason why I got it wrong. So what's the correct answer? So we're trying to reinforce learning. This one, there's no reason behind it, but uh, it's just obvious, well, it's incorrect or correct. So we're trying to reinforce some learning with the quiz. We're not trying to make them hard. Although there are some tougher questions in the financial areas. Um, for example, under break even, you go and take a quiz here and you might be um, a little case study. You have a client with a business doing a million in annual revenue. 20% net profit margin, 50% gross profit margin. What's their break even point? Well, um, you probably should go back and figure out how to calculate break even point. So what I would do is close that, go and watch it, and then come and watch you know, do the video again or do the quiz again. So best uh, way of learning. I mean, in it, everyone's got their own learning style. So Figure out what works best for you just to absorb the material and maybe you have to write things down and maybe you have to teach others how to do it and all that. So we really want you to master this material. Love it. There we go. But a huge addition there, folks. That has been an enormous amount of work. In case you're wondering, <laughs> I can tell you to take that much training and break it up into you know, sections that make sense. So anyway, so high five to the crew. Anyways, yeah. on that and note. speaking about crew, do we have anything new to add or our new guy? Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Okay. There we go. We just hired a new software engineer, folks. So there you go. But he he won't be starting for uh, 30 days, but he is getting himself familiar with the software and that sort of stuff. So that's a little bit of a it'll be three software engineers going full time hammer and tong on the software. So I want you guys to feel comfortable that behind the scenes we are working our little tails off a lot. It's like this stuff, like guys, this is this is a you know six. What we just showed you is a six-month project. By the way, the screen you're looking at right now, where you know the the imagery and whatnot, we kind of just have some placeholders in there. That's all going to look significantly sexier and a little more consistent with the software, but. That's neither here nor there. It's uh, just an enormous amount of work behind the scenes to go and put that together. So what you just saw, um, you know, is the kind of stuff that we we need to do behind the scenes and you don't see and you don't feel. Uh, but 
now that it's uh it's well it's about to be live and ready to rock for you guys but it'll be a significant bump forward for you and then not to mention and a lot of you guys are you know building teams underneath you um, and if you are a successful coach that's something you might want to think about but and also for the guys building teams of coaches they need to know and feel comfortable that we're you know we're looking after their underlings and whatnot so we are working pretty hard and we just hired a new software engineer so there you go guys so expect to see everything uh you huh. know the, the boat is moving faster right it's, we're moving quicker yep <laughs> that's hard to do when you see how fast pat goes <laughs> trust me guys you might sleep. you'd be impressed we're, we're moving that bad boy faster but anywho i'm going so quick i gotta hire a driver <laughs> <laughs> this is it this is it um what is Diana saying? If you want to tell him I did that and it was fantastic. Oh, that was the role play, I think. Oh, the role. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, Jerry, Diana is giving the thumbs up to the role play. Um, all right. Well, folks, I tell you what, do we have any more questions? Let's have a look here. Maybe we got a new face here. James Federico. I don't recognize that name. Why don't we open up James and say hello? James Federico, we're going to put you on the spot here, buddy. There he is. James, you're live. How goes it? Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, just, just listening in here. Uh, new guy coming on uh, on the block and just uh, kind of seeing how things are going and picking up some questions people have. I don't I don't have access yet to the software. I'm going to get all my, um, all my stuff in for my site and everything. I'll probably have okay. that hopefully done by the end of tonight or tomorrow morning and then uh, be able to jump in. But I kind of wanted to see behind the scenes ahead of time. So jumping the gun a little. but appreciate in the last uh i think i jumped on the other day for about a uh, half hour or so just uh wanted to see where you guys were at and what was going on beauty so how are we doing so far good excellent yeah no loving it can't wait to get my hands on it all and get on moving <laughs> have you been through the training the 100k training yet um i have it scheduled for t what is it tomorrow and third wednesday thursday this week yeah oh cool no oh, there you go man all right well high five good luck man just follow your nose feel comfortable it works man it works Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll jump in when I start getting some questions here after I get yep. in there. Guarantee oh, you're all good, bud. Oh, yeah. You're all good. Just saw a new face there. So we'll put you back on mute. Actually, not a face, but a name. But there we go. All right. What do you think, Kenya, Pat? Are we going to let these folks uh, zip off a couple minutes early today? Anything else we want to go over or show? Um, no, I don't think so right here. Uh, you know, we've coming to the close of a big project and we hope we can i'm going to get let's say i'm going to get my hands on it hopefully next week it's been about five months in the process and get my hands on it and start playing around make sure it works and then we'll be putting it out to, uh, to a few beta testers some of our elite coaches we want them to try it out and hopefully we'll have something to show you guys you know probably i don't know let's say in a few weeks from now we'll have something to show and and it's man, we have a I think we need a party around this one, Carl. It's <laughs> yeah. a long time coming. Yeah, everybody's like, what the heck is he talking about? But yeah, guys, we've been there's a five month project behind the scenes that um, again we had to kind of stop everything and put everybody on one particular project, which is not what you just saw with the 100k training. This has been done for a little bit. It was just it's been a lot of cleanup for the last little bit. But you guys watching about 30 days from now, you guys are going to see a new piece of software for coaching that is going to be available to you. And with fear of dangling a carrot and giving you a Trojan horse treatment, um, be there. Just just keep your ear to the uh, the ground in about 30 days something's going to come and you will be impressed your coaching clients will be impressed your coaching business is going to want to kiss pat on the lips when they see him in cancun oh. speaking of being in cancun if you're not booked for cancun you get your butt there because it's going to be one heck of a good time in october um so anyway so that's what we got actually you know what let's open up you know what we haven't spoken to dave in a while dave's always doing some cool stuff oh hang on did he go where I talked to Dave that? last week, I think, and he was there. Oh, shoot, Dave does some impressive numbers, guys. He does about fifty grand a um, fifty grand a month. I can't. I was yeah, just, I think he's gone now. There you go. He's left us. All good. All good. Okay, bud. Well, we're gonna let you guys go. We'll see you um, in a couple days' time. Thursday. We'll see you Thursday. Be there. Be square. 
And uh, appreciate you guys being here. Appreciate you guys playing full out. Bring your questions and we shall handle them.